The devil works hard, but the librarian works harder. But nobody works harder than the set designers from Greta Gerwig's upcoming film Barbie. What do you think's gonna happen to social media if Barbie ends up with like a 39 on Rotten Tomatoes? I don't think it will because Greta Gerwig has a great track record, but like anything's possible right now. What if Oppenheimer gets like a 17? <laughs> After Christopher Nolan built his own custom atomic bomb and dropped it for the movie. Me watching Oppenheimer on my phone while I'm listening to music on Spotify on my second monitor while I'm playing Final Fantasy 16 DLC at the same time, just like Christopher Nolan intended. She's made two movies, one good and one boring Little Women remake. Yeah, but it's not her fault the book is boring. Also, have you ever seen the video? I mean, it's edited, obviously. But the Infinity War theater reaction, but it's when Bob Odenkirk shows up in Little Women. That's a classic. Did I tell you that I watched uh, Medea Witness Protection last week? I had a lot of packing and dishes and YouTube stuff to do last night, so I decided to watch a little bit more of a, a sophisticated comedy. Um, the, the Medea movies, they're great, but sometimes you're in the mood for like a more of a slow burn. I watched um, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler's 3 out of 10 movie Baby Mama. First time I've ever seen it. Natural follow-up question, was it good? No, not really. I've got nothing against Tina Fey. Mean Girls is a great movie. I didn't watch much 30 Rock, but people seem to like it a lot, even in the modern day. But uh, Baby Mama? <sighs> Do you have anything against Amy Poehler? No, not at all. But I don't know if she wrote Baby Mama. They do, it is, like, I hate to be a hater. Sorry, I've got to go speak with Bertrand and more. Um, but someone in chat said Amy Poehler and Tina Fey have strangely bad comedic chemistry. I think that's true. Like, they're both pretty funny, and they're obviously friends, but for some reason, like, together, they just don't have that kind of Kevin Hart, Dwayne The Rock Johnson sort of synergy. You're right, it's because they're both the same size, roughly. If one of them was like 5'6", 140, and one of them was 6'4", 280, then it would probably be like hilarious. This summer, Kevin Hart is small, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson is big. And Kevin Hart talks really fast, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson talks pretty slow. The big guy, small guy, combo it, it it always works it's undefeated in comedy bro i'm a customer I come to you the baby her. mama writer also co-wrote austin powers two and three I am the good lady. you can kind of tell <laughs> there's a couple of laughs in baby mama but i would definitely give it a three one of the laughs when Dax Shepard is on the phone and he says, I know what I said. I'm asking you if you get a family discount if someone you're related to is in Girls Gone Wild. That's a pretty good one. A three for how many times I laughed. Great, now I have to watch the whole movie in my mind again. Something so funny about John Connor's cadence in Terminator 2. Like, he sounds like he's going insane every time he talks. No, what are you doing? <laughs> you gotta kill them! Of course. I am a Terminator. Terminator, you can't kill them! Yeah, they really hurt, actually. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why in my head I'm I'm picturing Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator going. <laughs> oh shit! Terminator, what happened? Mom found the com box. <laughs> Mom found the piss drawer. Thought she found the piss drawer, Terminator. What? Oh man, hang on. Hey Anel, do you like Korean movies at all? I've liked some Korean movies, but I'm very much like a normie when it comes to Korean movies. I like the, you know, your parasites, your old boys, your minaris, your etc. And, and such as is, your snow piercers, your okjas. Almost all these movies are just from one director. 
Then, like, I don't mean this to be rude. It, you could probably describe a lot of countries' media like this, but it seems like one in ten Korean movies is, like, one of the best movies of the year, and nine in ten Korean movies are, like... I fell in love with my boss, who's also being haunted by the ghost of his ex-lover, who it also turns out was my adopted sister, who I lost touch with when we both went to the best universities in the country! Like, at least that's how I feel about like the Korean Netflix stuff. Like, half of the Korean Netflix stuff is like, holy cow, this is like amazing. And then half of the Korean Netflix stuff is like, I fucked the ghosts.